What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Kabuki Masho. This channel is officially run by Japan Actors Association and Traditional Kabuki Preservation Society. I'm Takematsu Ichimura, a Kabuki actor and a member of the association. Let's move on to today's Kabuki Masho. Alright, since this is my first video, before we dig in, let me um, answer this question first. What is Kabuki? Kabuki is a form of traditional theater arts in Japan, which has a long history of about 400 years since its foundation during the Edo period, along with two other Japanese classical theater arts, which are no and bunraku. Kabuki is inscribed on the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage List in 2005. It originated from a female dance troupe led by Izumo no Okuni in Kyoto, but has changed to the recent style of being performed only by male actors since the original form of dance has been banned by the government. So basically, it's a drama performed on stage. If you hear words such as traditional, cultural, or history, you may feel it's something that is very serious or formal. But actually, uh, the term kabuki originally means um, something that is like out of ordinary. The original term is kabuku, and that's what it means. So kabuki is actually more of like an avant-garde type of entertainment, where people try their best like to come up with new ideas and methods in order to um, entertain people um, in a way they way that nobody has uh, challenged before. So it's something that is very new or cutting edge uh, during that time period. So um, Kabuki is more of a, it's like a great form of entertainment that became the core unit of Japanese entertainment industry. Not only as a form of entertainment, Kabuki also played an important part of Japanese culture. It functioned as a type of media, created new trends and gave many impact to the culture. It can be explained from the fact that there are many Japanese vocabularies that came from kabuki terms. For instance, um, kuromaku is a word meaning mastermind or wire puller, but the word literally means black curtains, which refer to curtains used for scene transitions and uh, backgrounds to suggest night times in kabuki. Since kabuki stages are controlled by those curtains, this idea of being controlled become the word to describe mastermind or one whose controls behind the screen. Kabuki not only contains many aspects of Japanese culture, but it also contains many unique performing or staging methods, techniques that are also used today um, that has or has become the base of many forms of visual entertainment in Japan. Not only other dramas such as like theater arts, they are also used in movies, TV dramas, or even in anime and computer games. Of course, there are many approaches that are different from the original approaches used in Kabuki, and there are also many uh, original approaches that were um, being designed in those individual um, um, enterprises. But however, there are many ideas and methods that are based upon or came from the techniques uh, used in Kabuki such as the style of like how they um, do these close-up approaches or like or they or what kind of sounds they play when um, characters appear or when they uh, do make important speeches also not only just the um, sound effects itself but also including the um, like how the lines are created like when um, when these characters do a monologue or um, when they do a speech or um, like when they, um, when the, um, what, uh, the, uh, the director comes up with an approach which is not really kind of a realistic type of approach, but like, um, in a style which is more, very, um, theatrical or more of like an, um, uh, a play kind of, uh, approaches. When those kind of approaches are taken, um, these, um, s styles of lines that, uh, each character may use, um, can be, uh, based upon these kabuki style or something that is similar to that kind of style. So, um, it kind of, it kind of really shows how, um, kabuki itself is a place in a core section of Japanese entertainment industry. 
I hope I was able to explain how Kabuki plays a significant role in Japanese culture and Japanese entertainment industry. Uh, in my future videos, we're going to dig into each of these elements that Kabuki has. If you have enjoyed or are interested in our channel, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and be sure to subscribe our channel. Uh, please don't forget to uh, check out our other videos in our channel, uh, they're in Japanese, uh, but they have subtitles that can be uh, translated into any other languages that YouTube is capable of, so uh, if you're interested, please uh, feel free to watch them as well. Thank you, and we shall see you again.